Welcome to another edition of Damn TV with Damn Sam. How you doing? Damn Sam here at uh, Cloudy Sheffield today in the uh, midst of the coronavirus. We're still soldiering on and uh, doing his job, sorting out all damp properties around South Yorkshire. So uh, this latest job, um, I, ain't, I ain't had a minute today because Apprentice is, on, uh, is at college. So I went to sort of crack on and get all this done. Um, when I'm looking on me, I might listen to the radio anyway. Uh, so I ain't had time to do any videos out, but um, I bang, I stuck all all boards on, uh, and I've got one board to do, and I'm gonna show you that I sort of stick this one on. And what's happened in this property is um, these are external walls, and uh, on outside, well, it's a traditional built. Uh, I'd like to say it's a, a terrace. Uh, it's an end terrace, traditional build, built end terrace. So before uh, uh, 2019, as uh, historic England like to uh, have that figure as a starting point for traditional buildings. So we all know that some have been built after, but so the solid built walls built from Ed Edison stretcher block, uh, bricks. <coughs> and this has got a dense render on outside. Um, and it looks like they've done about four houses, so they've rendered it, and it just looks like they've gone like that with the fingers in it. Um, not my cup of tea, and, I don't, and it's not, it's not uh, one of the ones that has a cup of tea, but because it's a cement, uh, a sandy cement render, I think it's a strong mix. I don't think they've got much option because they're trying to take it off, it'll put face at brick off. But what it's doing is the thermal, cold thermal bridging. So when it's cold outside, when it rains, um, wind blows, outside the property is uh, cold. And because it's a solid wall, then inside walls become cold as well. So if it's not adequately ventilated inside, or if there's, a, there's high humidity, like in condensation season, which is uh, end of September through to uh, back end of April, then you start getting Black mould, which you've seen in your properties, haven't you? Black mould um, forming up wall, paint peel, paint peeling off, shelling, dusting. And you don't know what problem is, but it's because it's thermal bridging. Um, and you'll tend to find that it's in like a, if you get a, a road cone, you turn it upside down and you have like it and it splays out in corners. So if you look for that shape in corners of um, black mould, or even uh, a wet patch in the shape of a cone in corner of the room going up uh, and from top of the room coming down, um, then it's an internal problem. And lots of people make the mistake of thinking it's coming in from coming from outside, penetrating damp, wet patches. I see it on chimney breasts as well at the top. I think chimneys leaking, spend a fortune on roofers. Um, when it's salts that are absorbing moisture from inside property. Now, there's different systems where you can put on walls to, 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 to sort this out. It's basically, you need to, we need to warm surface at wall and we need to sort <coughs> ventilation out in property, which is uh, we get more adequate ventilation in um, and a bit more heat. But this property has got a source of moisture, had a source of moisture basement and that was part of the problem as well. So the second part of our job is to put a, a drainage system in cellar uh, and a, a sump and a pump. And I'll come to, this is a funny story about it, but I'll come to that later on. So I'm going to crack on with this and just show you what I've been doing all day. Uh, these are these are, these are 27 mil thermal line plaster boards and they're as expensive as gold per ounce. So, <laughs> They're quite expensive, but they don't job. And uh, I'm fixing them on with acrylic, a bit like express system that we use with plasterboards. So I'm going to fit them on with acrylic. So 
it's going to leave a, a, a slight gap, only a few mils behind behind here when we put it on. Um, and people get worried about interstitial condensation, but what's going to happen here? I mean, what water vapor as a as a as a gas will still go through fabric, and it it might hit that cold um, cold render on its way through property, but we're going to deal with with problem inside so we have more adequate ventilation inside so it's not gonna we'll, we'll not have that issue but because there's a, a, a small gap it allows air to run up and down the back of that so that warm air will uh, it, it'll evaporate in that warm air any moisture that forms so uh, this is one of the best systems you can't always get these thick plasterboards on the wall. Now, Safeguard's done a system where they've got a um, they've got a magnesium board. Uh, they've got a board. It's got a ma magnesium on back, and it's and that's quite thin. And I know that uh, Glen Meld has got a system as well um, called Warm Board, and that's that's thinner. And that would probably been okay, but. Uh, I've not tested it. You were going to send me some samples down and decided not to send me them. I, I ain't paying for it, but um, <laughs> until I've tested them. So um, they never appeared, so I can't test them. It probably might have been, might have been okay for you. So we've ended up with this stuff. And, and I think Glenn's is cheaper than this, but and, and it's thinner. So, uh, so this is all I do. So we've got acrylic in here. So we're going to put some dots on here at spaces like this. I've already cut it out for um, plug. And I've put normal board on with the reveals because it's not thick enough to get uh, 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 select a board on this is a bit too with this, so uh, so I've stuck them on and my theory is that these it's a what this this is what I call acrylic it's called dry grip well that is holding it off a um, off a cold wall and this is waterproof, but it's, it, it, when it's set, it's like a rubber, uh, and, it, and it's thermal qualities and outstanding. So that's another reason why this uh, this system won't cold bridge because because the the, the dry grips holding it off the wall. You've only got certain dots for that thermal bridge to come across. You'll not get any uh, cold spots on it. I've been doing it quite a while and uh, it's a good system. So, I got here a bit late this morning. I got here about, I got here about 10 o'clock. So, I mean, it's stuff for already here, so I've just got to get cutting board. And this is insistent, I'm just filling some of these gaps. And before we skin it, I'll just slice it off tomorrow. All sorted. It's an empty house coming in. Carpets are coming up. Uh, so we all new flooring put in. And I'll just show you around. Ugh. 
Ah, oh, here we go. Now, there's a button here. I don't know whether that is to flip it around or not. No, I don't know what it's done. Right, so, here we go. All this wall's all done. Oh, right, I'll just show you up there. So when, when we're when, we're, when I'm putting these bits on, these these walls on, the uh, I put them on. I put a bit of foam on to to help them stick quicker, so I can move on to the next turn. Um, um, so when I do that, I always prop them. So I, I put bags of plaster there, and then put prop against them from low level. But if you look up there. I just screw a bat into the ceiling and then I prop off that for top bit. But these 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 smaller top ones you can just put on with acrylic, you know, I have to put foam on. Um but with them ones I wanted to move on to it next. I wanted to move on to it next and so I uh I put a bit of foam on. So it takes five, ten minutes to, to set, then you can take props down. So so that's that's in here. Tomorrow we'll fetch beads and uh, get it beaded up and get it get it skimmed. So there's this wall as well, moulded corner or, or treated. So we've got a bit of mould on things, so I treated it with um, ooh, sovereigns. <coughs> sovereigns one because I, I've got like quite a few packs of it. Um, so all the way to the top. You can you can. Get longer screws for plug sockets. That'll be sliced off, scrimmed up, and then skimmed. Warm the wall for her. Um, that is going to have to have sure therm on it, so it'll be painted with sure therm. Anti condensation paint. But airy, worst area one here, so condensation will form on there, and I think it will be on to here as well. So that's. Uh, Upstairs, it might as well look at me up way down. You know what I'm saying? Ah, eye candy, don't way down. So, again, what happened What happened here was, um, you've got some bit of bridging issues on this wall, but again, it was, it's a cold wall, so took this off, um, so the bottom out then, we put that system, which is going to be a, a lot warmer, and then alcoves, which is external walls again. Somebody had stuck that side on with um, drywall adhesive. Um, we were only going to be doing this one, and lady whose house it is, she wanted to, uh, she found this fireplace when she started knocking into it, so she decided she wanted that, and she's on about having it all cleaned up and then um, sorted out. So when we got here, she started knocking it off a same way and I'm a knicker and <laughs> it was sand of cement underneath and some browning. You can imagine the stage, she'd ripped beads off to about halfway and uh, she'd just been struggling with it. So I just said to the friend, I said, whip it all off for her. It's going to be a nice surprise for her when she comes in because she, 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 she doesn't know we've been today. Um, and she's going to come in and she's going to see it all done and skimmed up. That all exposed, ready to do. So it's going to be one less job for her. So it'll be a nice surprise for her. Um, so that's this room. And then we've got all stuff here for, for seller. Um, problem, problem that they've got. Right, we've done a bit of drilling down there down at the bottom. Um, it was a rental property this and uh, when it was a woman's house before when she lived in it she didn't have any problems but then when, when they had a rental for some reason they got issues now. When I came down here all this wool had got water in it so you've got to saw some moisture now it's drying out but when we had them Floods and when we had all that rain, uh, you got issues with source of moisture which were evaporated going up through the house. So that was part of the problem as well, and condensing on cold walls. So this is why we're going to sort this problem out down here as well. 
um, throat joints won't isolate in and, uh, and we're going to put a, a, a decent fan in here just to get rid of moisture. So it's eventually going to have this uh, converter so you can have some storage in it but um, she's, she's on a bit of a budget at the minute but the issue that I was going to talk about was that little bit of dad says all day from my knees. Um, she, she had a the, the company that she got for, to, to let this out, um, she wanted to find out why it were, um, you know, why she got this issue with uh, black mold and stuff. So she decided to have a, well, she uh, the company got a, a, a company in from Sheffield to uh, to do a report, um, and she paid quite a bit of money for it, not as much as our reports, but not far off. And um, <laughs> I've seen it, seven pages. The person that did it weren't qualified, and they called it a report, seven pages. Front page, add house on. No information, just address. Back page didn't have out on, so that cut it down to five pages. And then most of that were just infill. And if you saw a drawing, drawing that they'd done, it was ridiculous. Like I said, the guy who, who did it, no qualifications, um, formal qualifications in any damn sort of stuff. Um, and this guy puts videos on YouTube. Um, Classes himself as a bit of a damp expert. Now, I'm not going to say who it is like, but um, I've seen a few of his jobs and uh, it leaves, they leave a lot to be desired, put it that way, they leave a lot to be desired. Um, I've commented on a few of his videos um, and you don't like it, but uh, he needs to go and get some training done. Uh, and there's a, there's a, a supplier, a company, that's signing his jobs off and it's ridiculous. But that's damp industry for you. Now, um, so, th this, so this is gonna get all skimmed and then we're gonna get cellar sorted out. Um, and that woman's gonna be, the, but oh, <laughs> the point I'm gonna make what, that she'd, she'd seen videos online. So she's seen videos that we'd done. Um, and she'd done her own research. So once she saw this uh, this guy's report, um, alarm bells, bells rung, rung a bit. So she went online and then she must have found videos that I've done in the past. I've done them on reports. I've done them on uh, condensation. I've done them on drainage. And she told me she sat and watched them all for a weekend. So uh, I don't know whether she's an expert on, on damp sound or, or what, but... Um, She's extremely thorough in when she when she does a, a job. She's got she's got a good job, and uh, she's a team leader. And she's you can you can see that um, any work that she's going to have done, she's going to do research on it. Uh, so she found us on YouTube on Damp Channel, and uh, and that's how we got the job. And we get a lot of in inquiries through uh, through our channel because um hopefully they can see we know what we're doing um and i get i get a lot of comments saying i'm genuine so uh thanks for comments <laughs> that i'm genuine um you're not wrong i am uh, honest guy uh, well nah, i'm honest anyway so uh right so i'll sign off on that note and uh, we'll, we'll keep you posted on this job i'm going to show you a few uh, uh, as we're doing it when we start selling next week I'm going to show you what we're doing down there. Because basically we're going to just put drainage in and then put a fan in for now until she gets funds to um, convert it. So um, everybody take care. Um, do as what, what government's telling you to do uh, and isolate. I know it's hard, but um, you're going to have to do it for good of the nation. So uh, instead of... It's killing me having no football. It's like, you know what I mean? I don't mind stopping at one, but if there's some football on it, I'd be able to watch that. But nah, I must have talked to uh, talk to Mel. <laughs>
Right, that's that for Sam signing off. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe. Please share it with somebody who's got damp issues. Um, and uh, let's get subscriber numbers up, please. <laughs> let's help people with damp problems. See you later. Bye. Thanks for watching another edition of Dam TV with Dam Sam. Please subscribe and please like the channel.